Hello, I'm Rob Kiyoshin. We're back, and we're going to show you an additional demonstration now of the power of, a of ATI Stream technology. ATI Stream technology is basically a set of technologies from AMD that are going to be freely available to uh, users of HD uh, 4000 series cards and, uh, and several other generations before that that is going to allow those GPUs, those graphics processors, to actually accelerate standard applications that uh, beyond things like graphics and rendering, but actually uh, utilizing the processing capability of those, those processors to actually accelerate some of the most demanding computational tasks that we, uh, that we have uh, today. And in addition to not only accelerating the things that you already are familiar with in terms of uh, what computers can do, there's also new applications and new implementations uh, that are actually going to be available to, to consumers that were never before possible on a computer. And I'm going to demonstrate one of those things to here today with the help of Jackie Wong, who is our technical expert and demonstration guru. And basically what you're seeing here is uh, the best way to think of this is basically using uh, a piece of software from a company called ArcSoft, uh, and it's called ArcSoft Total Media Theater. Uh, very soon they're, gonna re they're gonna going to release an update that, uh, that takes advantage of ATI Stream technology to essentially take a standard definition video stream and upscale that to a 720p HD stream, HD video. And you can think of this as basically taking a similar level of functionality from DVD players today, where they're upscaling from standard definition to high definition. And that's become pretty common technology on the television and, and DVD players. And now you're taking that technology and you're applying it on, the, on actually a desktop, on a standard mainstream desktop. And this desktop actually is, is, has an HD, an ATI HD 4670 card in it, which retails for under $100. And so what Jackie's going to do is he just switched to actually He's going to show a couple of different views here. And the first thing he's going to do is he's going to show you what this looks like if you're using just the CPU to try and do this kind of upscaling. So not using the, the GPU, the graphics processor, but just using the central processor. And as you can hopefully see on the video, it significantly slows down. That's because this is a very uh, compute intensive task. And it's really very much optimized and ideal to be run actually on GPU accelerators, GPU compute accelerators and not really optimized, it's not really optimized, it's not really the, the best kind of software to be run on a CPU. Now, once again, when you turn the GPU acceleration back on, now all of a sudden it's much faster, much clearer, no jerkiness at all, and really gives a very crisp, crisp picture. And if you, hopefully you can see on the left is, is the standard definition video, and on the right is the video after, it's ha after having been upscaled to 720p. So it's actually uh, it's a, a wonderful piece of technology that actually gives a much clearer, much better definition picture for people wanting to watch DVDs uh, and uh, do their own video editing and uh, watch their own, own videos that they've created themselves uh, on, uh, on the actual computer that they have using a very mainstream graphics card that just happens to have a tremendous amount of compute capability and, uh, and a tremendous amount of price per, uh, performance per, per dollar. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring this technology, ATI Stream, which enables that GPU compute capability to as many consumers and as much ma many mainstream applications as possible. And we're very happy to be working with ArcSoft, a wonderful company that actually was able to add this functionality using the ATI Stream software development kit in under one month to, their, to, the, to their, this application. So a very, very easy to use and very straightforward pro programming environment. Thank you very much.